the fallout from President Trump's racist tweets targeting four congresswomen. The president is not backing down as Democrats prepare to vote to officially condemn his comments. We're covering all the angles this morning. Cecilia Vega starts us off at the White House. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. Not only is the president not backing down, he is re-upping his attacks to those four American congresswomen. His message is crystal clear. If you don't like it here, leave. The four Democratic congresswomen at the center of a political firestorm this morning are firing right back. This is the agenda of white nationalists. Whether it is happening in chat rooms or it's happening on national TV, and now it's reached the White House garden. The group united against the president and his racist tweets telling them to go back where they came from. Sadly, this is not the first, nor will it be the last time we hear disgusting, bigoted language from the president. All women of color, all American citizens, three of them born in the United States. Congresswoman Ilan Omar, a Somali refugee, has lived in this country since she was 12 years old. And in the wake of his attack, she turned it back on the president. It is time for us to stop allowing this president to make a mockery out of our Constitution. It's time for us to impeach this president. But President Trump is not backing down either. At the White House, he dug in. They hate our country. They hate it, I think, with a passion. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. That's what I said in a tweet, which I guess some people think is controversial. A lot of people love it, by the way. A lot of people love it. Among those who love it, white nationalists who are now praising the president's tweets. But President Trump said he doesn't mind. Does it concern you that many people saw that tweet as racist and that uh, white nationalist groups are finding common cause with you on that point? It doesn't concern me because many people agree with me. The congresswomen accusing the president of trying to distract from the issues facing the country. This is a distraction and we should not take the bait. And Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez offering a stark message to the next generation. What I want to tell children across this country is that no matter what the president says, this country belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And it belongs to everyone. So this firestorm is not likely to die anytime soon. The president heads to North Carolina on Wednesday for a campaign rally. He clearly plans to make this controversy part of his argument to say the Democrats are attacking his base on this one. And one campaign tells us, one campaign aide rather, tells us uh, that the president's strategy is to point out that many Democrats say terrible things about this country. And George, we can very much expect this one to be part of this race for 2020. Yeah, the president wants us to keep on going. In a pretty distinct contrast to how the administration dealt with inside uh, the president's comments after Charlottesville. This time it appears at least that the president's team seems to have embraced these racist remarks as an effective political tactic. Well, here's what I can tell you, publicly or privately, I'm not talking to anyone here in this White House, in this administration, who will offer a forceful defense of what the president said, but no one is willing to go on the record and say that these are racist, and that tells you a lot also. Uh, uh, there was very much a sense here yesterday that the president wanted to get out in front of this one. You can see from this Washington Post picture his talking points that he brought with him out to the White House lawn. On those talking points, uh, he said that this, you know, and I should say that this was an event about made in America, the president came out there prepared to address these in these tweets. He wanted to stress that the women have a record of saying anti-Semitic and anti-American things. You can see that there on that, that picture, George. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.